What is up guys, it's Sobash. We are back with some more Tai Chi Panda and today we are going to look at the top three best daily viable pets. Now that is, you have to actually go out and do stuff to actually farm these pets. And we're gonna jump right into it with number three and I am putting Skeleton King at the number three spot. Skeleton King is able to be bought now. He used to be exclusive for just uh time pets and he eventually got added into the store uh you can see here he is in the pvp store now scroll over he's at the very back of it and you can buy four pet shards of him every day for around 20 of these shards now you're gonna have to be very active in pvp and king's pvp to have enough shards to buy that daily because that is 20 and you really don't get a whole lot unless you are very far up and active in the community for that and let's take a look at skeleton king and why i have him here for one he is one of the harder ones to actually obtain so not many as many people are going to have him at higher level evos uh, his main attack, he does pretty decent damage, 375% damage. Uh, Blade Vortex, of course, that spins everything out. And it does the knockback. It's uh, actually a really good skill, does a lot of damage. Uh, his third ability locks on the one nearby target, pulls it towards the Skeleton King, and then deals 240% damage, and then he stuns it. And right here, of course, the last skill, the rare skill, which is probably one of the better ones that pets have in general. Uh, he reduces damage taken by 48% and then he stuns people if they're stationary and it slows them down. So that is a very unique and awesome ability. Now I do not have him enhanced, but his enhancement abilities are, it has to do with crit, crit reduction and damage dealt. And then his rare skill from enhancement. After casting the rare skill, players can get control immunity shield, which exists for 0.4 every four seconds. So it could go for, for 0.4 seconds out of every four seconds. So that's unique. I haven't leveled any of it up, enhanced it or anything like that because he has to be Evo 6 and I haven't really farmed him, but he is able to be enhanced and skinned. And as far as his rare skills, I'm really not sure. I haven't checked into his rare skills. He doesn't look like he has any S skills, so he is on that list as well as ones that have not been updated with an S skill. Now, number two we are going to take a look at, it's kind of in the same category as Skeleton King, but he's earlier, he's a, a lot easier to obtain earlier in the game, and he's probably a fan favorite, Boric. Boric is my number two because yeah, he's, easily farmable from the same place which is the pvp store but between sharing between boric and skeleton king you're gonna have to balance which one you get but most people do take boric over what they usually would go with as a skeleton king as far as i've seen in the past now let's take a look at boric and his abilities uh boric's main skill 400 percent damage right off the bat he's a very strong character smash 892 percent and has, has a ch uh, chance to stun the target for 0.2 seconds deals twice the damage in a melee uh, and that can be upgraded as you can see it does more damage and the stun is longer and we take a look at the other one down slam each strike deals 510 percent damage and slows down the target by 33 percent for three seconds so that is a very highly used skill from him especially the slowdown format. And of course his rare skill which transforms you into Boric lets you restore 1% of your max HP. And it just makes you crazy. It's just basically Hulk rage. And he is able to be enhanced. So let's look at his enhanced abilities. It increases crit, it increases hit and damage reduction. And of course the rare skill from enhancement, it plays off of that. If you're attacked, it gives you a 30% chance to recover 3% of your maximum health. That is a huge skill. I don't have it completely maxed out yet, but that is next on the list for me to use my solar nucleus on. So we look forward to upgrading that. And as far as awakenings, let's check him out um, right here. Let's see, he does have one S skill, and that is Bork's Rage. Increases damage by 300 crit by, rate by 2% and crit damage by 4%. It 
Now this will scale up as you level up that skill. I do not have that skill, unfortunately. It's very few I do have on the S skills, but Bork is one of them and he is skinnable. As you can see, I already have the skin on Bork. The reason I put him at number two is because it's kind of a fight between him and Skeleton King of which one you're gonna get daily and level up. So that's why I pretty much put him at number two in this list of the daily viable pets that you can get. And for the number one, of course, it's there, but we can't leave out the honorable mention. And the honorable mention goes to... Grubbly. Now, Grubbly is a buyable pet. You can buy him daily. Um, if you go right here, go into Fortitude, um, any of the stores, it takes you to all of them, but he is right here. You can buy four of him daily. And as you can see, I buy him very often because Warriors certificates they're not very hard to get anymore um, you've run so many instances you can get them from every team instance that you do now so you're actually able to buy quite a bit from the warrior store and I can actually continue buying more from it but Grubbly is there so let's take a look at Grubbly and why he is in this spot um, I've kind of put him in this honorable mention spot because he's not quite used as much as the other three pets that are in this list but he is a very viable pet, especially for the areas where you don't have to take any pets in, where you can get that 50% uh, dodge boost. Um, and it just depends by the pet's evo level. As you can tell, I've got a bunch of his stones. I'm saving him up, I'm gonna get him ready to level up eventually. Uh, and he is enhanceable as well, so that's gonna be pretty awesome because I'm, I'm more towards a dodge player. I like the chances of somebody not being able to hit you. So this is Grubbly, and he is the honorable mention pet of this list. And that is the reason I put him in the honorable mention list, because he is one of the ones that most people don't often too much look at. Now, for number one, you, you guys already probably know what the, my number one pet for this list is going to be, and that is, of course, Hades. Hades is a beast, especially after you get S skills on him. He is a beast. You can pick him up every day right here from the decathlon store you can get four shards from him all you got to do is run decathlon daily it's very simple of course as you can see i don't have any of the stones i haven't bought him yet today i'll have to run those instances and get him but he is the most easiest pet to farm out of this list because all you have to do is do decathlon daily and you can get him and you can evo him up fairly fast i'm an evo nine on him ability wise 280 percent damage on his main attack his second one is the side sweep uh the undead vortex where he side sweeps targets deals 165 percent damage later slams a weapon against the ground dealing 330 percent damage and it hits multiple targets and levitates them uh chance to stun so there's a lot in his skills if you go through and read them this is where undead legion he summons his archer and his other little guy that looks just like him and of course, rare skill, death pack. For five seconds, it increases damage reduction by 4,000. Cooldown is 10 seconds and it costs 100 mana. Now the cooldown on this is very, very important. It's only 10 seconds. 10 seconds on a rare skill. That is a very low, very, very low number. And you can use it quite a bit. Now enhancement wise, he does have some pretty good enhancement abilities. Uh, plus 12% to crit crit damage and net damage all of those are very good for damaging uh, other players and it's just I feel like it gives you the most power out of all of these pets it, even though you know Bork is very strong I do believe Hades is over him for the fact of his rare skills are more important to a lot of players than Bork is while rare skills in use, every time a player casts a skill, the net damage will be increased by 10,000. Now that is not 10,000%, that is just 10,000. We figured that out in one video I did uh, several, several weeks ago about net damage. And that lasts for three seconds. And it can be leveled up, which you can see I have it leveled up. And as far as awakenings, he does have the best awakenings in my opinion. We have immunity. Every 40 seconds, the pet will become immune to control effects. And of course, the highly sought after Deadly Mark, which I finally got in an update where they had some stuff out and I've been using it quite a bit. Now this right here is my list for the top three daily viable pets. 
Now, if you have any questions about any of these pets, anything it's all whatsoever, of course, check out the awesome skin that they put in the last update. I believe it was for Hades. It could have been the update before. It's been a while since they've actually put one out. But this is kind of the reason I put him there because I'm Hades is just a beast. I mean, what else can you ask for out of a pet like that, of that stature, except for being able to do, you know, 100 to 200% more damage to someone else? And that's why he's in that list at number one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of the pets in this video, leave them in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.